uh, Poland Springs, Arizona. Um, I am two hours east of Las Vegas, Nevada. I think Nevada's there, and it's fucking freezing. Anyway, I've been contacted by a guy who builds modular synthesizers and has invited moi to come on over and make crazy noise with his shit. So, all this craziness is going towards the new Angel Spit album. This guy's using a lot of tubes and really old technology, like old tubes that he's pulled out of TVs and stuff. Um, and what's crazy about him is he's a bit of a UFO nut and he's not allowing me to film there, but I'm gonna try and see what I can do. Um, and he's claiming he's gonna be able to make some sounds that I've never been hearing before. The other really cool thing is he's basing it on a lot of the really old radiophonic technology of the late 50s. So, I fucking love this place. As I mentioned, this guy was a nut for 50s old school electronics, specifically valves. Now, a while ago, a really good friend of mine in New York gave me this. Uh, she told me it was a light globe. She wasn't exactly sure what it was. So I showed this to the major, and he told me that this is actually a spotlight off a World War II uh, destroyer, US destroyer ship, and it's an incredibly ridiculously insanely bright light. He also told me that it could be used as a valve because light bulbs are basically kind of valves. He rigged up a um, piece of circuitry that would allow me to use this thing as a distortion unit, and I've hooked it up and it's Crazy. So this battleship valve thing sounds kind of as insane as the sort of shit that some zero inertia will come up with, which is absolutely devilishly mad. Uh, it, it's just wild. I don't know what this thing does to the harmonics, but the really interesting thing about it is that there's a whole bunch of little um, springs and stuff in there, and those springs all vibrate and uh, do really strange things. So, maybe it is UFO crash Roswell technology, I don't know, but it sounds great. Right.